Okay, so we're gonna do our first hit workout here. Um, I would always suggest to try to do at least three rounds in general, um, but of course, start where you're at. If you can't even finish a round, that's okay. And you need to adjust things, just do what you can. It's better to do a little bit of something than to get hurt and get stuck. Just start where you are and kind of moving from there. Um, so the, the exercises we're gonna do in this one, I believe we have six. So we'll have just kind of a little bit of a warm up and then progress through. This is kind of a full body workout. Uh, jog in place, jumping jacks, windmills, so that's just touching your toes, air squats, push-ups, and squat punch, okay? So these all should be, um, I'll, I'll show you as we go through, but they're all fairly self-explanatory and I don't really think require any equipment. So uh, here we go. We're gonna start with a jog in place for 30 seconds. So nothing too big, the whole goal is to just kind of start warming up the body, not to get, uh, you know, you don't want to put too much shock into it if you start all of a sudden like doing a squat punch and <laughs> throw out your arm or shoulder because you get, you want to do it so good right away, right? Okay, so we got jog in place, jumping jacks, one of my favorites. Some people really get the body moving. We're going to start engaging the calves. Okay, and now we have windmills. Okay, so straight arm, straight leg. Basically, always a little bit of bend in the knees. Um, I don't want to go too hard. I am hypermobile, so I tend to be able to be a little more flexible than most people. So, if your body doesn't move exactly like mine, that might be why. And that's okay. Just be where you are. Do the best you can. If you go a little bit lower, no problem. Just start trying to kind of feel it out. You're just trying it, right? So right now we're just doing air squats. So all it means is just squats in the air. So making sure you're really sitting your butt back down and moving up through your heels. If this is too much for your knees, you have a stability ball. Stability ball squats against the wall are great for really getting good alignment. Okay. And push-ups, okay. So we're gonna do our good old fashioned push-ups on the floor. If that does not work for you, you can do a wall push-up, couch push-up. Um, let me see if I can get the wall. So put a little bit less pressure. Everything gets a wall. This is kind of a transitional move. Uh, trying to lift it up, or maybe even a plank, just trying to build up some of that strength there. Our next move now squat punch. So, in that good squat position, butt down, and move forward, and punch. All the kitty parry. There we go. Perfect. And that is it. Take a little rest, I'd say, for 30 seconds. And then repeat. Jog in place. Jumping jacks, windmills, air squats, push-ups, wall on the couch, on the floor, on your knees, however it works best for you. And then squat punch, which actually works your abs, your arms, and your butt. It's great. Anyways, let me know how it feels, anything that you'd like to work on, or just any feedback, I'd always appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Thanks.